Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a collection of maps that Flooper sent me called All Other Maps by Flooper. There's uh, a bunch of maps here. Uh, this collection is friends only, and I'm not really sure what the deal is. I don't know about the quality of these maps or anything. Flooper just sent it to me and asked me to play it, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna start off with this first one here, Ten Ways to Success by Flooper. Just another nice chamber. Can you find all ten ways to success? Does that mean there's ten different solutions? You know how I feel about puzzles with multiple solutions, right? Right, well... What is even going on in here? That turns off the funnel for just a few seconds. Okay. And that does... Drop a cube, but also turn off a fizzler until it turns the fizzler back on again? <laughs> Weird. Um... Amazing. I have no idea... what I'm doing. Oh, didn't even see that. That's worth noting, I suppose. Oh, that's- oh my gosh! Holy crap! Uh, okay, that was quite frightening. Um... okay, what's down here? <laughs> Wait, what- why is that on a timer? Um... Okay, then. Why, though? And I died! Why? Why is that even a thing? Why is that necessary? Um. Well, okay then. Let's, uh, let's try this in a few different ways, perhaps. Why is this death here, anyway? Could it, couldn't it just be a pane of glass or whatever? Also, I think I could have portaled down there at some point if I'd seen that. Uh, hmm. I don't really have any clue what I'm doing, really. Oh wait, hang on a sec. I have an idea. What if... I do this? That's not gonna work. That's- it's no. That's- that's not- that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh Oh, well now I'm well and truly. Now I've done it. Let's just uh let's just try this again, shall we? <laughs> Press the button. And let's let's maybe try and not kill ourselves this time. Crap. Wait, what? How did that- What? What? Is this the- Is this- What? Okay, that's the thing that I hate about faceplates. I cannot stand the fact that they change how much velocity they give you based on which part of them you interact with. Like, I know it makes physical sense in the real world because of the way they angle themselves like this, but in a puzzle game, where you should not have inconsistent physics at all. This is like the dumbest thing Valve has ever done. Anyway, now that that rant is over with. Wait, what, that's permanent? We just have permanently reverse funnel now. Well, okay then. Wait, what? No, it's- it doesn't even have a timer, though. You can't do that to me. How am I supposed to- Oh, and I didn't even- Forgot to drop the cube. Well, let's just pretend- let's pretend that I remembered to drop the cube or something, and then I went up here. There we go. Oh, I can't do that? There, how about that? Uh, where do I even need to put the cube? Oh, up there. How do I get it up there, though? 
Um, what is the exit requirement, by the way? Is this ant line, which... Oh, it's literally that, okay. What is that for, though? Oh, there's another thing in here? I didn't even notice that. Well, let's just see how long we can ignore that stuff for, shall we? Yeah, what was- what was that one for? Who even knows? Uh, yeah, I can't say I was a fan of this one, Flooper. Uh, yeah... This was- this was just... not my type of map. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!